Hello. Uh, in this update, I will be showing you some progress I've made on the Dreadnought tank, mutators, new voice actors, uh, four sky captain, and announcer. And I think that's it actually. So, uh, first things first, the voice actors. Um, I commissioned two voice actors. Um, this guy, Nathaniel Williams for Sky Captain and Steve for the announcer. Um, as an idea, uh, I will um, leave the links to their pages in the description, but also um, I'm gonna play a few seconds of their uh, promo intro thingy. Hello, my name is Nathaniel known here on Fiverr as Voice of Kazath. I offer a deep and powerful range of tone and voice, perfect for character voices, dubbing, and narrations. I now, I think uh, you're gonna agree that he has the perfect voice for narrating Sky Captain. And then as the announcer, let me just refresh here. Everyone on me! I'll lead the charge! And don't fall behind this time! My ass is still sore from that last arrow, if you couldn't tell. Let's go! Ah Out of my way! Back off! <laughs> you got Both of them, phenomenal actors. Um, I've uh, even let the... Uh, like a review, 5 out of 5 stars to each of them. Um, will recommend them any any chance you get, like the need for a commission work from them, they have my vote. Um, now back to the game. Um, as you can see I've uh, remodeled the Dreadnought and I've added some um, extra bells and whistles to it. Uh, Actually, just one, I guess. Um, I've added uh, javelin missiles. If you're uh, familiar with them, they when they shoot out, they go for the like uh, straight up into the sky, and then they nose dive uh, towards their target. Uh, I can show you the missile as well. This will be the missile. It shoots, um, just as you can see, there are two on each side, so a total of four missiles currently. And also the mutators uh, are the settings uh, I was talking about that I wanted to add in order for uh, players to be able to change settings that would affect the gameplay, like starting points, if you want or not deterrents. Those will be the laser cannons and the swarm thingy. Uh, on which round the deterrent should start, dash boosters, if you can or not purchase outposts, and for what cost. And if you want cheap outpost units, so instead of uh, costing you two points for a tank and a helicopter, it will cost you one point each, uh, if, it, if you enable it. Uh, then the max number of unit. This was highly, highly requested in the comments. Now it will be up to you how many units you want. And then uh, how much the super unit will cost. Um, and I will tweak this out for the sake of uh, demoing. Outpost cost, let's do five and cheap units, max unit twenty, whatever, because I don't want, want I don't want my performance to tank too much. So um, currently Sky Captain cannot buy super units, but that's something I will add in the future. Um, so right now I just hard spawned uh, blue dreadnought, so we can see it uh, shooting javelins at us. I'm gonna lower the music so we can hear the new voice actors as well. Yeah. 
You didn't need that turret, did you? So I added a bit of an uh, like a visual cube that the dreadnought has been destroyed, so this will persist on the map for a few seconds. Also, I've added another build option and that will be the barricade. Apparently the lasers uh, are not on the SFX channel, so let's see, nope. Lasers. Ah, and it's this one, oh, class, yeah. Sound effects, there you have it, a live patch. So now, whenever... The turrets will shoot and the helicopters, it should be calibrated with the SFX slider. I do have to patch a bit the target heading of the javelin. Um, it's an issue with the projectile movement component you can add on actors from uh, the engine. It cannot lead onto the target, like it doesn't take into account the velocity you have, so it's always lagging behind. So you can see that if you move a bit, red base it's way off target and badly. And with a red base perimeter. Okay, I might, I might just touch right now. Red destroy. You will pay. I. Don't believe it! I, I believe they, the voice actors really did a great job My on this. My time is over. Prepare to die. I do apologize for butchering their voices a bit with the um, echo no and... Thing as luck. Only what I allow. With the echo Chorus delay effects I've added on top, I tried to keep the... Aesthetic of the original sounding a bit more mechanical or distorted, in a sense. So I do apologize for butchering the basis in that regard. Enjoy this minor success, monkey boy. Playtime is over. Prepare to die.
Okay. Um, what else? Let me see the deterrents. So the deterrents are on stage three. Let's go stage five. Laser satellite launches initiated. Another small update I've done is that those spheres are a one shot now. They dissipate on the first contact they did. So you don't get bounced around like a pinball. Uh, like like in a pinball machine anymore. Um, like um, testing it out, I I was getting stuck in the base, and since there's many walls in the base, it will be very hard to get out. So overall, a bad user experience, I guess. So. Also the effects, the sound, everything was stacking up a lot, bouncing around between the two between two or three of the laser spheres thingies. It cost me just one, one point. that um, now I recorded uh, also the um, some new lines so uh, I can have an um, let's see what's this okay whatever um, like a call out for the nanobot swarm deterrent thingy um so let me think a second yeah swarm cloud whatever it's like a bad dream isn't it swarm legions is so accurate that's what i'm talking about A very subtle uh, detail about the swarm is that it only takes damage from um, fire weapons, like of course the flamethrower. I think I have the 
Gatling laser doing fire damage as well because it's technically plasma, whatever. Um, but anything else doesn't damage it. Um, also, the shockwave generator does fire damage, so you can use that as well against the swarm. So, let's test it out. There we go. The barricade uh, will also uh, hinder progress on your units, so it's like a double-edged sword, um, but not so much, because you could argue that maybe you want to stack up your units, and in a sense make it like a burst uh, effect have like five five tanks stacked on top of each other or very close together and then you can shoot your own barricade and have them um, continue towards the enemy base and have a better chance of uh, fighting off the base turrets or anything in that sense I guess That's what I have for now. Um, actually, uh, I mean, very small thing, but I can show you how the menu can will look for now. Uh, the um, imitators options menu, I mean. So that will be like here next to the stop button. You can play around with this to your liking so any ideas for any other mutator options leave a comment and I'll have a look at it 
So that's all for now.